So you sure you're okay not seeing Papa's mistress anymore? I know how you came to feel close to her. Hey, we were both close to the Wheelers, all right? We found out that he was your father, and she knew that he was married with children when they became lovers. It's unbelievable, right? Yeah. I was just as shocked as you were angry. And I'm really sorry that I came across as disloyal to you and Pilar. Mrs. Wheeler is nothing to me. She's just a stranger, but you're everything to me. You're my life. You mean the world to me, too. That's why it hurt me so much to think that someone or something could come between us. Mm -hmm. oh, if that's my father or his whore again, I swear. Luis, come on. It could be anybody. Oh, Beth, it's hey. just you. Hey, come on in. Luis, um, are you all right? Oh, you hurt? Yeah, uh, Paloma came by the book cafe. She said that Mr. Wheeler is really Martin Fitzgerald, your, your father. Yeah. Yep. The lying bastard finally admitted it. Oh, Luis, what a terrible shock this must have been. It was. Now I'm just more angry than anything. You don't have have worried all this time about your father, and then to find out he left to be with another woman. Oh, Paloma calls for Senora Wheeler? Hey, Beth, would you, uh, like something to drink? Uh, no, thanks. You know, this Senora Wheeler must be trash with a capital T. I mean, what kind of selfish slut would hook up with a man knowing he had a wife and fam? Beth, stop. Why, Sheridan? Yes, yeah, Sheridan, that's what I'd like to know. Why, what, are you defending my father's whore again? <laughs> No, I, I was not going to defend Mrs. Wheeler again. I, I, I know that what she did was wrong. Then why'd you tell Beth to stop? Because I, I think that we've been totally focused on your father and Mrs. Wheeler for what seems like days now. And I would just like to get them out of our minds for a while and think and talk about something else. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble between you and Sheridan. No. It's just that your father being back here is huge. Especially when he's been with his his whore this whole time. I know. Uh, <laughs> Mama and I still can't believe it. I know what you mean, Luis. I mean, how are we supposed to tell our little son that his grandfather was seduced into leaving his wife and his family for some... Home-wrecking hussy? I don't know. We haven't even figured out how to tell Teresa yet. Oh, well, you know, I remember when Martin first disappeared. So hard for you and your family, and it just went downhill from there. Antonio eventually left. You weren't able to go to college because you had to help Pilar make ends meet, work, working full-time. Sheridan, you didn't know Luis back then, and I did. He literally had to grow up overnight. No more fun or sports or time with friends. When he wasn't working two or three jobs, he was at home taking care of Miguel and Teresa the whole time, worried about his father, whether he might be hurt or even dead. God, and now to find out that Luis was worried for nothing, that Martin was down in Mexico living the high life with some low-life squeeze? How amoral and self-centered was this Mrs. Wheeler to be able to hook up with a married man knowing he was willing to abandon his family? I mean, you agree with me about Mrs. Wheeler, don't you, Sheridan? Well, Sheridan, you agree with me about Mrs. Wheeler, don't you? That she's a selfish, uncaring piece of trash for hooking up with a married man. It's a sad situation for everyone. I especially feel hurt for Luis and his family for the pain that they've been through. And it's... 
very disappointing. Disappointing? Huh. You know, I was disappointed when I got a C in home ec. But the truth about why Martin left, that he dumped his family to be with some rich bitch, I'm sorry, that's way beyond disappointing. That is betrayal, Sheridan. Luis's father betrayed his family. And Mrs. Wheeler, she was a willing accomplice. Well, you certainly are right about one thing, Beth. Mrs. Wheeler and my father are cut from the same cloth. I mean, what kind of a woman would want a man who left his wife and children to struggle and suffer? She has to be as selfish and as irresponsible as my father. Well, I don't know what kind of woman could do the things Mrs. Wheeler's done. I mean, how low could this slut have been to have just shacked up with a deadbeat like your father, Luis? How gross is she if, if Martin was the best she could do? Huh, well, if there's anything good about Mrs. Wheeler, I cannot imagine what it is. I can't either. Sheridan, you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just think about everything that's gone on. You know, it's all really upsetting. Yeah, it is. Or especially for Mama, knowing that the man she worshipped left her for a skank like Mrs. Wheeler. I was right. Mrs. Wheeler is the key to coming between Louise and Sheridan. As soon as I find out more about her, I'll use the dirt on Mrs. Wheeler to keep Sheridan away from Louise forever. <laughs>